Layman piss me off. If you don't have a degree behind your name, that pisses me off. If you don't know all the facts, it really fucking pisses me off. That really fucking pisses me off. And so help me God, if I don't have my head full of hair and I'm uh, not a good looking guy, I curse God. I did not become a good looking guy. But like I'm saying, if you're just a na layman, you're basically une uneducated. You know just enough facts that combine with what you don't know. You can come up with fallacious arguments that totally ring true. And it pisses me off when your arguments, because they sound true, I believe them and base my life on that. Them. Then somebody with a degree with three letters tacked to the name comes by and shows me the way it really is and then I realized all I believed all my life was a lie that fucking pisses me off that fucking pisses me off that fucking shit pisses my ass off some kind of fucking badly and fuck this and fuck them and fuck you too some bitch and it really, really fucking pisses me off when, when someone with a degree says something and I find that what they told me was not altogether true. Is there such a thing as truth? Is there anything fucking true? Like Pilate, I too asked Jesus, what is truth? <coughs> Luke and Matthew both provide a different father for Joseph. Luke gives his father as Heli, Matthew gives his father as Jacob. See, this is a perfect example of a retarded layman not knowing all the fucking fact. God damn it! Have you ever considered that maybe you don't just maybe, know what you don't know? And Luke, I mean, and Matthew, Joseph's father was Jacob, and in Luke, it was Mary's father who was Eli. Because of Jewish misogynistic beliefs, they didn't list the names of women and genealogies. John says that Jesus refused to be held or touched. And in Luke, the risen Jesus invites his followers to touch him to prove that he's not a ghost. Come on, bro. Touch me. See? Hey, you ignorant layman troll. Go to the university and get yourself a goddamn BS degree in the goddamn Greek language. Jesus, when when Jesus said to Mary, "Touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my Father." If you look, if you, uh, and if he had a rudimentary understanding of the Greek fucking language, which the New Testament was written in, you'd realize what Jesus was saying. Quit clinging to me. So, in other words, you stupid bitch, she was already hugging his feet, and Jesus basically was like, "Let me go." I have to ascend to my father. <laughs> Stupid people piss me off. You know that? Stupid people really fucking piss me off. Especially when they come wearing intelligent person's clothing. But they're really STUPID down underneath. Real dude. Hello lovely people, my name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Bible. Hi Emma, I'm Wildman Chris, and you are one stupid bitch. You don't have a college degree, you did not study this shit in the universities, all you have is a layman's knowledge, and layman are STUPID! Like I said, you know just enough, combined with what you don't know, to be dangerous. You don't know what you don't know. You're dumb. My advice to you, Emma, shut your fucking mouth and quit spewing your Atlantic Ocean's worth of ignorance of the subject matter you're trying to teach us on. Dumbass. Go get a goddamn college degree. <coughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Damn! It's the talking jackass again. Ezekiel worshipped a provincial god whose military capabilities could be bested even by the simple machines of the Iron Age. So the demands this prophet made were either beyond his god's ability or god simply refused to do as he was foretold. Now, remember that a prophet is someone who... So, you're ignorant. <laughs> um, you don't know what you don't know. The script said, you're saying, you're, you're accusing God of being unable to drive out the Philistines because they had chariots of iron. And God was not able to drive them out. Turn with me. Open your Bible, jackass. You don't read the whole Bible, do you? Sis, Sisera had 40,000 generals. Every one of them who had 100,000 men under him. He had iron chariots. Look it up for yourself, jackass. Sisera had 900 iron chariots at his disposal. Compared to the Israelites who had no chariots. Here's a link. I include the fucking link in, in this video. Yet. Yet. So God couldn't have defeated the Philistines. Well, guess what happened? When the war started, God sent rain, and the iron chariots became stuck in the mud, and Israel was able to whip the shit out of Sisera. Damn, I forgot the name of the country. Israel whipped the shit out of that country, and Sisera was, was killed by Jael, by a woman. Who draw? Uh, she was a double agent, and Cicero came in. She fed him some milk, and he went to sleep. And he, she took a tent peg and nailed it through his fucking head. So don't you dare accuse God of not being able to do what He says He can do. You just got to wait for the right timing, bitch. Stupid people fucking piss me off. Whether they're retarded laymen who don't know what they don't know, or whether they're geniuses with PhDs or even college degrees. It fucking pisses me off to no end when people get shit wrong, even the smallest nuanced facts. But then again, is truth really objective? <laughs>